Yo, you too, man. We back here with another one, man. I hope y'all ain't missed me too much. You heard? We want daily uploads, man. Make sure that y'all like, comment, subscribe below so y'all don't miss out. Oh, hit that bell so y'all don't miss out for sure. But we uh, we watching a cut video right now. Uh, do 100 women see consent the same way? Keep it 100. I honestly want to know because it's, I think this is going to be a very interesting uh, video. So let's get straight into it. <laughs> What is consent? Um, For you, what is consent? Consent is a fuck yes from both parties. Enthusiastic, yes. hard, strong, yes. Yes, not just like, mm, yeah, sure. A full willingness to participate. Knowing that you're all the way in it. Who initiates it? Whomever wants to do something that's not already happening. I feel like it's different for two women than it would be for a man and, and, a, and a woman, to be honest. Do you think women are more aware of like what it feels like to be like preyed upon? If there is a predator in the situation, it's most likely gonna be the man. I think we do this thing where it's like all about like women and things like that, but I think women can be predatory as well. I think you have to be both agree upon on the same page. So mutual two yeses. It takes Two to consent, but one to reject. Consent can change in the middle too. I've flirted and thought I wanted it, and then, and then they kept pushing when I was like, no. And I realized that was not consent, but because I didn't know how to speak up, I still went on with it. Boundaries can constantly change. I'm allowed to stop it. You're close to your climax, and if someone says no at that point, the other person has to stop immediately. If I'm in the middle of this and I decide it's over, then it's fucking over. Can you consent if you I cannot. For me, one, two, four drinks, I feel like I would still be able to make sound decisions. That, There's a lot. That is interesting. And for anybody that knows why that is interesting, I don't really gotta say no much, no much, too much, excuse me. If you know, you know, but that is very interesting. That is very, very, very interesting because if I'm not mistaken, liquor impairs your judgment. So for somebody to say four to five drinks and still be able to know what the line is hey now this is a conversation this 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 is why i wanted to watch this because that i, w I wanted to see if that was gonna be you know what i'm saying i didn't know but that's fine that's... that gets crossed between being tipsy and being inebriated what's consent yes verbally can consent ever be non-verbal i would probably say no not to me that was first of all the no was so weak like I don't even think she, I'm not going to say she didn't believe it, but she didn't feel it enough for me to believe it. Not to say I would, if I hear no automatically, it's, it's clipped. I don't give a fuck where I'm at. It's, the, it's over with. But I was, ra I was raised by a woman. So I know the, you know what I'm saying? She told me the game. She told me exactly how to be a woman and all that shit. So for you young niggas out there who don't know, no means no. Just, just take your loss or whatever, nigga, just walk away. Because you don't want to be in a situation that that has you with your life upside down you fucked up so just take your loss keep it moving whatever keep be upset pissed whatever nigga just get out of it you know what i'm saying and if they don't know or if you're not sure just don't do it if you're not on the same page just don't do it that's how i feel personally if you're a little iffy or if you think that she's iffy just don't do it simple point blank period you know what i'm saying just just so your life can can prolong and you could go on to see other bigger and better things, bro. When it comes to sex, it should be explicit. You should verify. Full transparency, I always so, yes. asking. Every time. We're in a generation of verbal consent. Because I take away from, <laughs> I'm gonna take away from the intimacy. I don't want you to ask because I feel like that's messing up the mood. Mood killer, like if I'm making out with you, just like grab the titty, bro. Like, like nah, This man, is no interesting, bro. This is so fucking interesting. Because on one hand, I will, yeah. I love you too. All right, thank you, love. Good night. This is very interesting, yo. Because on one hand, you have it where, which is which is to be expected. Everybody, I feel it. I feel as though the the work is saying it's not gonna. Everybody's not gonna follow the same protocol when it comes to this so on one hand you have don't fuck up the mood on the other hand you have to ask every single time i feel like that's a new thing personally and be honest i feel like we live in a politically correct 
like the way that the world is progressing in that sense and in the dating the dating uh, uh what's the word in the dating community right now like full transparency or full like continuously asking and being politically correct now is is it's just what's in and I feel bad for the young kids coming up because that just that's not to say not to say verbalizing or vocalizing how you feel or what you want to do next has never been stated or like taught but to the degree that it's being pushed is kind of crazy right 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 about now so young niggas man be very careful man just just make sure don't fuck around bro this is your life and you could be in some you could be in some shit like that bro so be a be <laughs> move tight you heard people can think oh that's gonna ruin the mood and i don't think it does honestly it could make it better i like being so asked. Different. it's never bad it can only help i think sometimes it's sexy when someone's like can i have you been drinking no if you're I mean, smelling you something it might be my shit. spiked eggnog body wash it's cinnamon no body wash what the fuck Oh, really cinnamony. Oh, hey, yo, they freaking off. Yo, YouTube was uh, good with y'all. Fresh mistletoe. Hey, get this off here. Get this off here. Do this. Do you like this? Foreplay could be a great way to ask your partner if they're ready for that type of thing. What mm. do you like? What don't Again, you like? though, I think it's very different from women's, cons like woman on woman versus man on woman. Just saying, I think personally. The other show you in the video before said it too, but I agree with I, I, That kind of starts that conversation with consent. You want to ask in a way that's not intimidating, like, let me put it up your butt. And you're like, no. Mm -hmm. Over communicating will never do the harm that under communicating would. Ah, Communication okay. is really, really important. Just so, like, we're on the same page. Sometimes mm -hmm. it's not even verbal. Body language is 70% of is our weird. language. This is weird. Yes, and that is very true. I think 80% of, uh, 80% of uh, communication is nonverbal. I think that's a fact. I, I think, wait, let's go back. What she said? Sometimes it's not even verbal. Body language is 70% of our language. 70. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Which? Um, sometimes I'll be like this. Hold the hands, look at the eyes, and then just like click. You're feeling cues for me, and I'm, I'm moving forward but towards see, you. See, this is the thing. What are the cues? Like, if we're, if we're, if we're, if we're, if first of all, I feel as though if I have to ask you, then I, there's no cues there, right? I would just like, in, in the sense of, there may be a few cues here and there, but like, if there's a whole conversation, a whole dialogue, dialogue of, I don't want this guy to ask me, there's not, there's not going to be no cues. First, first of all, scratch that. Why is it that it's only like, the man has to initiate. I don't. I don't really see the conversation of the woman doing the initiation. Not to say that that's what I'm. But I just. I just want to see that perspective as well. You feel it. You're open to it. They're open to it. I actually uh, coached and counseled a, a young man who was a virgin and didn't know exactly. if his girlfriend was giving him consent. And I told him, I said, when you're kissing her, take a piece of her hair and stroke down her hair, especially if she has longer hair. And if she leaves, lifts up and pushes her boob into your hand, that's her telling you she wants to go further. Nah, don't and... listen. Do not listen to this fucking lady. Yo, she's gonna have you in fucking jail. Don't listen to her. What the fuck? Stroke her hand. Bro, what? Nobody does this. Maybe, matter of fact, yo, my people, you know who follows this advice and who don't. Don't listen to this bullshit. <laughs> Personally, for me. <laughs> she's bugging. She's bugging. I got y'all. Say if this was the worst. He lost or... his virginity. You can definitely act uh, flirtatious. I, I, yeah, see, it's kind of a fine line. It is. If it's your partner, if it's something you guys are doing pretty often. You have a, to have like a developed intimacy for that kind of thing. Mm. If you're just meeting someone for the first time, yeah, you might want to ask. Once you know who you're with, I guess it depends. It depends on how well you're connected with the person. I mean, if you don't like know, you shouldn't be with that person because you don't know them well enough. Even if you've been in a relationship for a long time, it still is not like because you've had sex with her a million times that she has to bust down every single time. I've been in a relationship and it hasn't been consensual. I've been in a situation where I slept with a man and then years later he just expected to do it again because we'd done it before. There are so many times I've looked back and I'm like, wow, like I totally just let that happen and didn't think twice about 
if I really wanted it to, but I thought that I needed to. It kind of makes me mad. Sheesh, this, I, the progression of this conversation is up, down, up, down, up, down. I, I, I know Cut did, did, did this on purpose. This is actually good dialogue and everything. That's unfortunate, bro. It's very hard for women out here. It's hard for both parties. Let me let me not do that. It's hard I mean, I wouldn't she, she went call it too. rape, but I have had sex where I didn't want it, and it didn't matter. And that's rape, sweetheart. So. That's rape. Do you talk to people about that? I haven't, no. Yeah, you probably should. No. When yeah, I first started about, having should. sex, I wasn't comfortable having that conversation at all but now I am I had a relationship where there was zero consent and I didn't realize what consent was and then when I learned that someone can ask me how I feel about what's being done to me changed my life I'm not the person who asks me if that if the husband wants that you have to be there no not me I will fight you maybe it's because I'm a bitch I'm not sure how's the conversation around consent changed in your lifetime oh well now we have it <laughs> I don't remember really anybody ever talking about it. When you were younger, did you hear a lot about consent? No. Why? Because I didn't, I had little boobs. I mean, we're being honest here, right? So all my friends, all their boobs came in and mind it. Okay, I don't know where we're going with this, but I, I, I do I do appreciate the conversation we are having about consent, because it is important, right? But I feel as though it's needed, yes, for, for 110%, but the way it's kind of being pushed sometimes with some of these narratives, bro, it, it makes it kind of like, not illogical, but kind of to a degree of unrealistic. Like, I did a video before of one of the feminists, and the way she was like, trying to like deter, deter the younger, the younger crowd into having, having sex, like having relationships with other people was kind of like on some... On some uh, uh uh what's what's on some incel shit like no you just don't do anything because you're you there's a chance like like it's like damn bro like you don't want the you don't want these people to have relationships or try and just figure it out by at least giving them the proper tools all right consent is now a thing let's have a conversation about it like ask okay cool she's just on some shit like no the dude is wrong if if she doesn't say that like it's like damn son like. These are kids. These are not like grown people who probably should know and probably don't get the benefit of the doubt. That's fine. But these are young kids who are trying to, they're literally growing into themselves and figuring it out as they go. I feel as though that it's, it's, it's nothing wrong with, with allowing them to have relationships or, or maybe not even understand some of these relationships because one, they're developing. Two, this is new to them. They, they've never experienced this before. So to a degree, I agree with consent, but an extreme case, obviously that's an extreme case. So, I mean, that's not for everybody, but yeah, bro. Conversation needs to be held. Yes. Do we need to, do they need to relax a little bit? Possibly. So. So I thought, well, this is God's way of wanting me to be a virgin. <laughs> How has the yeah. conversation around consent changed in your lifetime? There are actual repercussions if... For the horror movie yeah, marathon and animals for all fun kind. Men do not stop. I think I've spoken up more. Being more vocal with my needs and not it always being about the guy. When I was a teenager, it was always no means no. Yes. And I think they've transitioned more to yes means yes. As a kid, I remember so much of kisses and hugs being forced on me. When I see people, I ask if I can hug them. My kids, as much as it has totally miffed my family, if they do not feel like giving a hug, I am not going to force them. My era, we are very naive, and women weren't given a lot of power. It wasn't that long ago that a man could rape his wife, legally. I come from a- Yes, I can see that though. I can see that though, back in like the Maybe like the seven, maybe like the eighties, seventies, eighties, and even a little bit before that. Maybe I go. I mean, what could you really do? This is this your husband. Damn, son.
uh, a culture, Confucian beliefs around men's status and the valuelessness. That's still now. Women. Men's status now is very important in in, in some of these these some of these scenarios because they are still taking advantage of, of women. And some women now it's like it's a weird it's a weird dynamic because even back then, but some women now they kind of just like, oh, he got money, fuck it, he got status, so he can do this for me, he can do that. So I'm just giving some do this, some do that, and um, it makes it look doesn't bad for the rest uh, of the make a space they go for on any language of consent. All, yeah. If you didn't say no and you kept on playing, you basically were consenting. I had been taken advantage of early on in my life, and. Looking back on it, I really need to, needed to be m more clear. I mean, I've been raped. I mean, I've Jesus gone out Christ. on dates. Wow. This conversation, bro, is too, this shit needs to be had, but damn, here it is. That's the tough part, bro. And broke my rules about meeting them in private, not meeting them in a public place, not getting to know them, and um, and just hoping that you get out of there and not get hurt too badly. Didn't report it, accepted. I felt somewhat responsible for myself for doing that. It's an awful feeling. It's an awful feeling to the person that you just kind of disregarded, and it's also kind of disgusting as well. Kinda. I still have panic attacks. Rape really is bad. crazy, like, bro. Even in the middle of sex, it happens. So I was assaulted Jeez. when I was 28, and now I'm much more like, no, you should ask me before you touch me there. But I've also played. A I'm not even gonna lie, bro. Watching this video is 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 so is so relieving because I'm so happy I am how I am with, with women, bro. Like I don't be touching them. I like feel me unless I unless I know for a fact you gave me that vibe, you gave me that verbiage. Or like we are we are already there, or like we've done. You know what I'm saying? Like even in there were certain things I asked, bro. I'm sorry, I don't fuck around. If I don't, if I think for a moment to show you is not with some shit, I don't push it. I I go in. Let, let's say I don't ask. I go into the the situation. You know what I'm saying? Trying to see what the vibe is, setting the mood. If she move or do anything subtle that I think for a split second she's not with it, I'm done. I'm officially done. I don't try nothing else. Turned off. I don't want to do nothing. We don't, I don't want to touch you. Don't touch me now. Because now, I don't know where this could go. This could, she could, she could, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm, I'm so happy, bro, because watching this shit is crazy, bro. I had a more active part in asking my partners. It was often like a one-way street, and now it's me asking, you know, hey, can I suck your dick? Um, I like that, though. I'm not going to lie. Not for, I fuck with her, because she says some real shit. I had a, listen, the joints that's like that, bro, you have the most fun with, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? That shit is... Never gotten a no to that. Of course not. <laughs> but I feel like it's good just to he be... Just love like, you after some shit like on that. On the same page. Yeah, nah, nah. Shout out to her. But, you know, this video was crazy, man. Very important, man. Do your due diligence. Do your homework. Open open up. Learn learn to speak. Learn to, 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 to get better with uh, vocalizing a lot of shit, man. But, and shout out to all these women. And I'm praying for y'all. Hopefully, a lot of y'all get the help that y'all need and, you know, the therapy to help with, you know what I'm saying? But, word, man, we out. We're going to have another video, man. Like, comment, subscribe, man. Go show love to them. One.